What's up guys, welcome back to Just JP. My name is Justin. We are finally here. We have finally arrived at the last track of Gentle Giant's Octopus uh, with River. This seems to be another favorite of a lot of you. I gotta say that this album so far has been a journey. It has been an adventure. I haven't enjoyed every single turn and, and corner that I've came around, but it's definitely been an adventure. They're definitely a very unique band in, in what they do. Very interesting in the way that they combine things together. But does that always mean it's good? Well, we'll see. Peanut butter and jelly? Good idea. Peanut butter and chocolate? Good idea. Pineapple and pizza? Ah, some of you are... Ah, I got you, I got you. Anyways, I hope that you've been enjoying the album listen of this. I've been enjoying it. It's It's been an experience for me, to say the least. Of course, at some point after this, you can expect my final thoughts on this album. And then we will move on to another album. You guys are more than welcome to join me on Twitter. If you're interested, you can join me in the comments down below. If you enjoy the videos, you can like them, you can share them, don't forget to share them. And if you haven't already, I guess you can subscribe if you want. This is River by Gentle Giant.
We've done it. We've done it. We finally arrived at the ending of the river, ending of the album. We're here. We're here. And what am I left with? I'm left with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So the strongest points of this song were pretty much the middle section. I really love the middle section. The singing and the harmonies were perfect. The soloing was good. I like the little drum solo that I threw in there. This part right here when it's nice, quiet, and slowed down, this sounds really good. I love what they did here. Like that's just a nice mellow section right here. I was, I'm trying to look through their instruments and see like what I think that is, the soloing there. Like I don't want to just say like piano or keyboards. A mini Moog, there is a Mellotron in there. Not 100% sure actually, vibraphone. No, it's not the vibraphone. And of course we get a nice guitar solo, I like the bass in there. This was like a relatively normal part from them, like that section. Uh, the only things I didn't like were I didn't like the violin stop start section, how it opened and closed, and it did it just a few too many times. I just didn't like it and it didn't sound interesting really. It was fine to open this song, I just wish it didn't do it so much during this song. Because it just kind of put a, a stop on the music that I was enjoying. And I was like, oh this is good, this is good. Oh, we're back to the violin and, you know, start stopping. Okay, alright, well I guess. And then I didn't like his singing in the beginning and the end. The middle part was great, but... I didn't like his singing here. I know this is weird, but it doesn't sound like he feels comfortable singing there. He feels a little unsure of himself, and I'm not necessarily denying his talent as a singer because the rest of the album, I've been more or less happy with the singing. I think that it's Derek Shulman who's singing here. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But on this song, I just didn't like his singing. It just sounded like he was trying a little too hard. And the delivery sounds a little awkward in parts too. Like right there, it just kind of sounded awkward. So I didn't like the singing in it, but when it got to the middle part, I did like the singing and the harmonies that were brought in. Like here, the singing and the harmonies are more of like an underlying texture to this instrumental uh, breakdown that's happening. Like I said, I'm left a little bit mixed on the ending of River because most of this river, I think, flowed relatively well. I just don't really like how it started and how it finished. The lyrics, touching the last of what is past, moving silent water fell the first that comes, slow and winding flowing free, peaceful music in its sound of distant drums, trust the shallow virgin stream, danger wild beware the deeper it becomes. I do like how their lyrics are more like poetry than it is, well I guess it could be taken both ways, but let me put it like this. I really do enjoy how their lyrics are very poetic, like, if you take it river, okay, you have a literal object or a thing. Well, the way that they describe this thing, I think is very well written. I think it sounds nice. I think this almost works better as a poem than it does as lyrics, uh, at least the way that they were delivered for the, like, opening part. I do like, now that I think about it, like, I do enjoy how in the middle section with, I think, the Verispeed symbol, I think that's what it was, it does sound like rushing water, so it does kind of get you in the mindset of being in a river. It's like it's emulating rushing water in the back. You can tell that they pay attention to detail. I may not always like how it comes out in the end, but I do appreciate the detail they put into it in their songwriting, into their lyric writing, into their themes. And while the song is strictly talking about a river, I do feel that it's also making an attempt to talk about something deeper. At the end it says, makes a soft and easy way, left to choose its path, will always be its friend. 
touch the last of what is past, never idle, river drifting to the end. But maybe this could be, in grander application, a song relating to them in their career, how they will never be idle, how they will always keep moving forward, regardless of all their different styles, regardless of everything that they throw into their music, they're never going to be complacent. They're never going to stop doing what they're going to do. They're going to keep on progressing, evolving, and pushing the boundaries of their music and progressive music for their uh, quadrant of, of progressive music. I think I enjoyed this song enough. Um, like I said, I really didn't like the way it began and ended, but I did enjoy the middle part, so uh, I'm a bit mixed on it. I'm not sure exactly. I have to give it another listen, to be honest. Of course, let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what you thought of the album as a whole. I'll come back at some point with my final thoughts on the album. I'll get all that uh, going <laughs> right now. Um, but for now, you guys can join me on Twitter. You guys can join me in the comments down below. I want to know your thoughts, of course. I hope that you're having an amazing day. I will see you later. Bye.